Hello everyone, my name is Steindang Hunter. Welcome to the Common Scratching channel. Today we're going to be talking about kit menus and how to create them with command panels. These are very useful if you want to show your players how long they have left on kits, what kits they have unlocked, and how many kits are on your server. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to show how long they have left on the kit if they've already claimed it, which kits they have so you can show if they do or if they don't, and you'll be able to claim them from there. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video and find it helpful. If you do, please leave a like. Consider subscribing to watch any of my future videos, and I hope you all are having a great day. Let's get on into it. So before we get into the tutorial, we're always going to talk about requirements, since there are a few for this. One of them is going to be probably a permission plugin, just so you can set up permissions easily. For me, I'm using luck terms, pretty simple. But you will also need a placeholder API, and for me, I'm using essentials for this kit. The reason I'm using Essentials is because I already have it installed on the server. It's super easy to set up kits and it also has an extension for placeholder API, which allows you to check how long they have left on kits and such. So make sure you have any of those downloaded or a version of them that can support all the different things that I just mentioned. But for placeholder API, you're going to want to install the Essentials extension. So for that, all you're going to type is poppy eCloud download and essentials if you start typing it it should just come up and you can press tab press enter it installs it all you're going to do is pop your reload after that and now it's installed for this i'm just going to be using the tools kit after that you'll be able to set it up on your own all this kit's going to do is give you stone tools it's a built-in one with essentials but let's get into it so i've created a new panel all i've called it is kit main Set it's a kit selector, you use it with slash kits. Sorry if you hear my dog, he's playing with the toy. As a stone sword is a material, the name is stone tools and it just says get some stone tool. So what we're gonna wanna do is set it up so if they do not have the permission for this, it'll not show up. So for this, we're going to be using a has perm. If you don't know how to use any of the has sections, I'll leave a card in your top right that'll show you exactly how to use any of the has sections, anywhere from the basic uses all the way to the advanced uses. But for this, we're going to be using output, which is a little bit more advanced, not super, but if you want to just follow along, you can, I will be explaining it. But if you want an in-depth tutorial, it's there. So we do has perm, we're going to put output of false. So what this is going to do is going to check if you don't have the permission that's listed here. Normally we don't use this and we just show if it's true, but for this, I'm going to be setting it up a little bit differently. So now we're going to do a permission. This permission is going to be the essentials kit permission. So we're going to check if they have the essentials perm for the kit. For this, we do essentials dot kits and then the kit name. So for this tutorial, I'm using the tools kit just like that. So it's going to check if they do not have this permission. If they don't, it'll show this item inside here. So for this, we're going to do a material of a barrier name. You do not have permission for this kit. Just like that. And I'm just gonna add a lore real quick. So there we go. So nothing's gonna happen when they click this. It'll say that they do not have the permission for it. But if they do, it'll then show this item. So for this one, I'm just going to fill it out with a few different things. So I'm going to list everything. Just like that. Nice and simple. Now we're going to set up how you can check if they're on cooldown or not. So for testing purposes, we're going to be using this placeholder right here, which is essentials kit is available. And then the kit name, which is going to be tools. So this is the placeholder API thing we just installed. That'll allow command panels to see this placeholder and use it in its panels. So for this, we're just going to go test it really quick, just so we can see what this outputs so back in game slash CPR. And then if we do slash kits, I'm going to come up with this. It says the kit is available. So if I do slash kit tools, you'll see we get it. And now it says it is not available. So what we're going to want to do is check 
what that placeholder says to show if they do or do not have the kit available. This is only used if you're using cooldowns for the kit, which I personally like using just so players can't infinitely get items. Now what we're going to want to do is set up a has value inside of the has perms and do that. So this is going to require a little bit of changing. If you're not doing it this way, all you have to do is add commands to the panel and make it so that they get the kit nice and simple. But if you want the cooldowns to show, you'll have to follow along and we're going to be changing what we just created a little bit more. So back inside here, we're now going to make another has perm. We're going to make an output of true. So if they have the permission, and we're just going to copy the perm just like that. Now we are going to space all this inside of it. And then for this has perm, we're going to need to make a zero just so it shows up. And now that we have that, we need a fallback item. Material. Red wool. Something went wrong just like that that has to be there but unless something goes wrong you will never see it so now what we're going to do is we're going to change this lore and we're going to say not available yet good enough don't care if i misspelled it or not you understand but just like that That'll say that it is not available and they cannot use it yet. What we are then going to do is add a has value inside of this. So make sure it is in line with all of these items. Again, if you don't understand exactly what any of these are, has sections tutorial is listed. I also have it in the description if you want to follow it there. But it'll help you understand exactly what we're doing here. So this time we're not going to use output because we don't need it. Now we're going to put a value. This value is going to be yes. And we're going to compare that original placeholder. So we're going to do essentials kit is available and then the kit name. So we'll do tools just like that. So what this is doing is checking this placeholder and trying to see if it says yes. If it does return yes, then we'll allow them to claim it. If it does not, it'll say not available yet. And then what we're also going to do is use another placeholder to show how long they have left. So we're going to use this placeholder, essentials, kit, time, until, available, and then we'll do tools. Just like that. And then going back inside the has value, we're now going to set it up so that they can claim it. Before this, we are going to use stone sword. We're going to use the same name, so I'm just going to start copy and pasting. And the same lore. Well, almost the same lore. Space these over. Do not use tabs. Just like that. So now this is almost set up. Now all we have to do is add commands. Kit. Tools. Just like that. And then we're going to do CPC, which will close the panel whenever they click this item. So it'll get the tools and then it'll close. And then when they reopen it, it'll say it's not available. For the test real quick, I'm just going to comment this line out so that we can stay in the panel and then we'll watch it update. So instead of doing CPC, I'm going to do refresh. Just so it instantly refreshes the panel and we'll be able to see that it changes the item. So this is completely finished for if you want a kit that has a cooldown, show the cooldown, all that kind of stuff. And show if they do not have the permission. All you have to do is copy and paste this for multiple different items, and it'll work perfectly. So now let's go test it. In game slash CPR. Now if we do slash kits, you'll see it says stone tool. Get some stone tools since I have the permission and we are not on cooldown. So if we click it, we'll get it and then it says not available yet. And it'll go down and how much time is left. And you have to have panel refresh on for this to work. There we go. So now we have it again and we can click it again. Just like that, and we get more. But if you do not have panel refresh on, you'll not see an update like this where it counts down the seconds. But when you open and close the panel, it'll update and tell you exactly how long. So if you have a if you have a kit that lasts like 
24 hours. It'll update by hour by hour whenever they open the panel. So I forgot this part in the actual tutorial, but if you'd like to make it so they can preview the kits and show exactly what's inside them, you can actually set up a panel. It'll allow them to be able to preview it. For this, we are going to change a little bit how these commands work here. So if all you have to do is add write equals, and then we're going to do open equals. And we're going to do kit tools, just like that. And then for this, you're just going to add left equals just like that. So if you left click, it'll do these commands. If you right click, it'll do these again. If you wanted to just close the panel, make sure you use this one and not refresh. But now we're going to go set up a second panel. So all I'm going to do is copy and paste this, edit it, name it, kit tools. Just like that. And we're going to make it have no commands. And we're going to remove pretty much all this. So now I'm going to set up all the items. Just like that. So now this panel is created. This will be the nice preview panel. But you'll just have to create this for every single kit you have and it'll allow them to preview it. If we go back in here. If you would like, you can add the command section that does the right equals to every single spot so that they can preview it anytime not having to own the kit. They can still preview it. But inside this lore, I'm just going to add Right click to preview, left click to claim, just like that. Now if we go back in game, slash CPR, slash kits, and we right click it, it'll open up the preview and you can see all the different items. If you'd like, you can add another item right here or somewhere else in the panel that allows them to click it and use the open equals to then go to the kit main, which is the first panel we created so that they can go from this back and not have to worry about being stuck in this menu or closing it and then reopening it. So that is the basics of a kit menu and how it works. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, remember to leave a like. Please consider subscribing. It helps us out a bunch. If you guys have any questions, I'll leave you leaving the Command Panels Wiki in the description and the Discord in the description. If you want to hop in there, I am a moderator and a developer in there. We will all answer your questions when we can. If you would like to ask any questions directly to me, you can also comment on the video and I'll try to get to you when I can. I've also left the Okami Squadron website in the description. If you'd like to visit that, there is a resources page that has a ton of free panels for you to download, change, and use on your servers. Nice and easy to use. One of the new ones I put on there was the online browser, which allows you to look at every single player on the server. And if you'd like to change it, you can make it so you can click on them and get information about them. So if that interests you, that'll be in the description as well as the has sections tutorial. If you guys don't understand that yet, but hopefully all of you are having a great day and I'll see you in the next one.